Well, let's see who's number one. I think we know the answer to that, right? You can give us number one last yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> the number one team in the initial ranking the college football playoff selection committee, the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirk, how much separation is there between <laughs> Georgia and all these other teams that we're about to see? Well, through eight weeks, it's it's pretty obvious. It's a pretty big gap right now. Uh, the defense alone. I mean, they're, they're Stetson Bennett, he's just trying to hold on to the reins there and not lose the game on that side of the ball. I think Todd Monken's doing a great job with the offense, playing complimentary football. But, yeah, for now, it doesn't mean they can't lose, but for now, without a doubt, there's Georgia right now and there's everybody else. All right, this is the question of week one. What does the committee think? Georgia's easy. Number two is not. Who is number two? <laughs> Alabama. Wow. Reese, that's the At first time I've seen you react. That's just the first <laughs> time I've seen you react to something. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little shocked by it, just to be honest. Now, they've got a lot of wins over teams with winning records. Solid win over Ole Miss. And what turns out to be a pretty good win against against Mississippi State yeah. as well. The thing is, for everybody who's going to get all up in arms about this, as you look ahead, this is going to take care of itself. Alabama will either lose and not get to the SEC championship game to play Georgia, or they'll get there and lose. Exactly. Or they'll win out and they'll be in. Reece, so, but, but but having them at number does, two it, though, it having them at number two, if they win out, that still opens the door to the possibility of them not falling outside of the top four with a close loss to Georgia. I, it no, opens no, the door. No so two losses, it won't happen. Are you nope. not surprised? No, nope. I mean, let's right everyone now. else. Nope. Yes, I'm okay, so because we're talking about an Alabama team, which I have a ton of respect for. When we talked about this earlier, they've shown cracks and they've shown cracks twice. Right. Texas A&M, second half of Florida, they've shown cracks that surprised okay, me. Herbie, hold your thought of being told we need to see three right now. Who's number three? Michigan State, those two teams met in the playoff once before in 2015. Kirk, Alabama, Michigan State, 2-3, what do you think? It doesn't matter where the heck Alabama is. Reese, you, you set the table there. If they went out and they beat Georgia, they're in. If they lose to Georgia, they're out. So for fans that are looking at the two teams from the SEC and you're panicking, don't. Uh, the, the reason you should panic, it'd be the same reason if Alabama were at five or four or three. If they beat Bama, they're both in. So no matter what happens, uh, it still comes down to that game in Atlanta. Michigan State, you guys just said they could be up at two, may definitely in the top four. And uh, without beating a team with, with a, a winning record, they went out, came back from that big deficit. Five minutes to go in the third quarter, they're down, thir they're, they're down 30 to 14, come back and win. And they, they turned their season around with that, and, and the committee recognized it, put them in the top three. Georgia, Alabama, Michigan State, understanding that it can all change at the moment. The playoff started today, which it does not, because if it did, we wouldn't be sitting here. Who's number four? Consistency in this regard, head-to-head -head has mattered. Oregon at number four. Yeah, and this further proves the point. Now, the people are probably going to be alarmed by the fact that Cincinnati at this point on the outside looking in, but this furthers the point that Cincinnati ultimately does not control its own destiny. They're at the mercy of what transpires in the Power Five. No disrespect to Cincinnati. They've done a remarkable job. They've scheduled up. They beat Indiana. They beat Notre Dame. But ultimately, if Oregon wins the rest of their games and wins the Pac-12, they're going to make the college football playoff. Same can be said for Michigan State. Same can be said for Ohio State, which could potentially leave Cincinnati on the outside looking in. So this is, I think, a very solid ranking and appropriate ranking for where the Oregon Ducks stand considering the win they have against Ohio State. You know, one of the questions people had asked Kirk was how much help does Cincinnati need? And the answer, no matter whether they're five or six, is going to be a significant amount of help. They're going to have to have things fall right. Yeah, they're going to have to have they're going to have to have some help. Uh, it, it's, it's interesting. Uh, that, that Oregon is at four. It's such a great debate about head-to-head -head and what they did in that game and then what they did on the back end of that game for, for really three straight weeks. And you, Reese and I, you, you and I talked about it a lot off the air. You fill out your AP poll and each week would go by. You're kind of scratching your head like, man, 
Oregon's kind of sliding down and Ohio State's going in a different direction, it's easy to put Ohio State ahead of them. Now, if they didn't have that UCLA win and they followed it up with a dominating win against Colorado, they're not sitting there, even though they could have won those games and not look good doing it. I think they turned their, their fortunes around in the last two weeks, and that's why they're up at the top four. Well, they need to. The margin of error is gone as it pertains to the playoff. Let's look at number five. See who's in which order, Ohio State, Cincinnati. Who's five? It is Ohio State getting the nod over Cincinnati. So the consolation prize for the Bearcats is that when they were revealed right now at number six, that is the highest ranking in the college football playoff era for a team outside the Power Five conferences. Still an entire month of football to play. The SMU game that Joey mentioned, potential matchup with Houston at the end, perhaps could uh, bolster the resume, though uh, the rankings there would not reflect at the moment that the committee has a high regard for those teams in the American. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.